Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Like MRI. And these are two patients who have very similar findings. Both of them have shoulder injuries and pain related to recent vaccine administrations. And the acronym for that is SIRVA, S-I-R-V-A, Shoulder Injury Related to Vaccine Administration. Now, in both of these cases, the patients were injected too high and the needle tip went into the rotator cuff rather than into the deltoid muscle. And in both cases, they were about two or three weeks out. Both of them had really severe pain, debilitating. And upon reading about this, the patients can have that pain last years or sometimes it can even be permanent. Um, and so this is just a, a complication. Patients, when they are injected incorrectly, they can have the fluid go into the shoulder joint. Sometimes it can go into the bone. I've seen one of those cases where they had infection from a direct injection of the bone. Sometimes they can be injected into the rotator cuff, like these two cases, and have a, a chemical a myositis or a tendonitis or immune response to that and cause abnormal signal, as in this case. They can have fluid over the top of it called bursitis. So this is one of the two cases. Now, to run over the anatomy, this is the humeral head, which is round. The humeral head sits in a cup here. It looks like a T and rotates around. The front of the rotator cuff is right here. This is called the subscapularis tendon, really dark black tendon. And it comes back and turns into a muscle. And the back of the rotator cuff is here. Now the muscle belly looks good over here, but here it starts to become too bright in this patient. Right here, definitely too bright. And then all the way here to the attachment of the bone is really light bulb bright. So this is abnormal. And we can see that they also have a little bit of fluid about the top of this. This is called a bursitis. So they have a tendonitis, really severe tendonitis, some myositis, inflammation of the muscle, and a little bit of fluid, peritendinous edema or bursitis over the top. And this is related to the needle tip being too high. So this is near the, this is the very top of the shoulder. We're going to go down one, down one, and now we're into the posterior superior rotator cuff. So the needle went in over here, somewhere, maybe even right here, too high. And there's not much distance deep to the deltoid muscle here. And we went right into the uh, rotator cuff. So when people inject, rather than to go too high like this, they should come down lower down here into the deltoid muscle belly and maybe even um, uh, pinch the muscle up a little bit to get it more plump. And then it'll be right here. But again, in this case, they went too high, and went right into that infraspinatus tendon, and they have this abnormal signal. And again, this could even uh, cause permanent um, uh, damage to that infraspinatus. Now, the next patient was just seen a couple days ago. It was a physician who had gotten their um, vaccination for COVID about two weeks before, three weeks before. And this is their humeral head. This is the glenoid, the cup it sits in, part of the scapula. And exactly like the, the other patient, there's abnormal signal within the muscle belly. And it also comes in here into the tendon. So it looks like they got injected a little bit more posterior, but also too high. And the needle tip went through the deltoid muscle. So this is the deltoid muscle here. Here's the front of it, side of it back of it, the needle tip went right through that into the infraspinatus muscle. And you can see this linear black line. This must be part of the central tendon of that infraspinatus. You see fluid, and the inflammation and fluid extends into the tendon over here. So just a, a reminder here to let you, uh, when you're getting your vaccination, to, uh, tell them to please bulk up the muscle and uh, not to aim too high because this uh, rare complication that can occur. And unfortunately, it can be very painful and even cause uh, long-lasting symptoms. And that's it. Thank you very much. I hope everyone has a great new year.